are starting the last day of our workshop with presentation by Professor Takashi Takata on safety analysis of sodium-cooled fast reactor and innovative numerical approach. Please, Takata-sensei. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Kuriben san and good morning, and good uh, evening, and good afternoon for everyone. So today's my topic is related to the numerical method as a safety analysis, especially in, uh, for the uh, sodium-cooled fast reactor. And uh, currently, we will, uh, we have developing that, that one kind of the innovative numerical approach to support and uh, uh, give, uh, give us an uh, efficient uh, way of the design. And uh, uh, today's topics are related to uh, my part of work as a visiting researcher of uh, Japan Atomic Energy Society, uh, uh, sorry, Japan Atomic Energy Agency. So that's why that uh, on this slide, I just put the credit of both uh, our university and uh, JEA. So uh, today's my topic is uh, uh, mainly divided into the two parts. First, I would like to show that the safety analysis of the sodium cooled fast reactors. As in the previous lectures, you uh, well know about, you well know that the uh, sodium chemical reactivity of the oxygen and the water is one of the key issues. So I would like to introduce you to the numerical approach of the sodium fire and the sodium water reaction. And uh, uh, in a JEA, as uh, an innovative numerical approach, uh, Arcadia system is, has been in de under developing. And uh, I would like to uh, show uh, the summary of the uh, Arcadia system. So, uh, as uh, you know very well that uh, uh, safety analysis of innovative reactor uh, caused by its specific characteristic is one of the key issues for uh, plant safety as well as a, a public acceptance. And uh, in case of the sodium cooled fast reactor, as you know that the chemical reactivity of the liquid sodium with oxygen and water or water vapor is a, a key issue. But in general, uh, those chemical reactivity may not cause a, a core a disruptive accident, not a severe accident. But uh, from the viewpoint of the uh, public acceptance and uh, to investigate the, the detail of the phenomena uh, or understand the phenomena, we need uh, experimental and numerical research. And uh, uh, those were uh, conducted uh, to understand the phenomena <coughs> deeply and uh, predict uh, influence on the plant safety. So uh, today, I would like to uh, briefly mention about that the numerical approach, uh, especially in Japan, uh, sodium fire and sodium water reaction in steam generator. So let's go on uh, uh, sodium fire. Uh, this is uh, a key physics in a sodium fire. For instance, uh, this uh, picture shows uh, some kind of the uh, secondary loop of the uh, sodium fast cooled reactors. And here we have that uh, current piping systems. And if we have some kind of the leakage in here, firstly, uh, liquid sodium uh, go to uh, floor like this. And uh, uh, in, as you know, that uh, sodium fast, one of the advantage of the sodium fast reactor is that the low pressure system. But still, it has a little, a little bit higher pressure than the atmospheric atmosphere. So maybe that, uh, that uh, for instance, that the several times as much as high as uh, pressure is uh, loaded on the pipe. So that's why that when it leaks, it's uh, segmented into the small particles as uh, lectured in uh, yesterday's. In, that, in these cases, firstly, we will have the uh, spray combustion here. And uh, if the oxygen is uh, uh, enough uh, to uh, make the uh, spray combustion, so there will not unburnt, uh, unburnt sodium, 
and we only take into account so the uh, spray fire. But in many cases, as you see that, uh, for instance, the secondary loop is segmented with a small compartment. So uh, some unburnt sodium will pile up on the floor, and then it uh, makes a uh, full type, a uh, full uh, combustion. And of course, the chemical reaction due to the uh, uh, caused by the uh, sodium water reaction is quite important. But from the viewpoint of the uh, numerical simulation, we also have to think about that the heat and mass transfer and uh, chemical reaction in as a, uh, with a, uh, combustion air zone. Because for instance, uh, in a typical reaction of sodium and oxygen uh, will produce that uh, sodium oxide or sodium peroxide. And if we have the humidity, so we have uh, another chemical reaction uh, of uh, sodium oxide and water uh, produce that sodium hydroxide and uh, hydrogen gas. And of course, we make uh, those kind of the separation to, between that compartment. We have to think about the heat mass transfer through the opening. And uh, uh, in general, concrete includes uh, some kind of the water. And when it heated up, so some water or water vapor released into the room. And uh, uh, from the viewpoint of the uh, heat transfer, not only that the uh, convection effect, but also the radiation effect, because that the uh, sodium higher, the high is a higher temperature. So we need a uh, multidisciplinary uh, physical phenomena in uh, sodium fire. And uh, let me briefly uh, mention about that what kind of the uh, numerical tools is uh, developed in the sodium fire, not only the sodium fire, but uh, if we take into account that uh, plant safety dynamics, generally we can make the, uh, into the uh, two groups of the uh, coding. And here I just mentioned that some compartment and red one in the fired region and blue one is not fired region. And uh, uh, if we make the uh, lamp mass uh, assumption, we just take into account that the only uh, one uh, huge mass and uh, uh, governing equation through this uh, large path is considered. That is generally called the ramped mass model. And uh, many of the plant dynamics analysis, such like uh, uh, Melcor, and uh, okay, in the sodium fires case, uh, yesterday you will hear, uh, you will, uh, you had that uh, contain area mark. That is a kind of the uh, lamp mass model. And uh, in a uh, uh, fire analysis region, we usually say that uh, this is a zone model. On the other hand, from the viewpoint of the, the uh, investigation in detail, we need that uh, multidimensional effect. At that moment, we use that uh, sim uh, same kind of the CFD tool. And uh, usually those kind of the C uh, multidimensional effect are uh, take into account, we say, uh, field model. And uh, in Japan, uh, especially uh, in uh, Japan Atomic Energy Society, uh, sorry, Japan Atomic Energy Agency, uh, we developed that the Sphinx code for the uh, zone model and uh, Aqua SF code for the field model. And uh, in the chemical reaction, uh, one of the uh, important uh, physics is to the uh, reaction date. As I mentioned that the sodium and oxide uh, generate that the sodium uh, oxide and sodium peroxide. And from the viewpoint of the uh, numerical analysis, we need to the proportion of uh, sodium oxide and sodium, uh, sodium uh, peroxide. And uh, to investigate that those kind of the uh, stoichiometric condition, we develop the uh, Bishop code. In Bishop code that gives free energy minimization is used to uh, obtain that the proportion of uh, uh, sodium oxide, sodium peroxide, and sodium hydroxide. And also, uh, from the viewpoint of the safety assessment, aerosol behavior is uh, uh, important. 
and uh, uh, in aerosol. You can easily imagine that uh, uh, we, uh, some particles of the aerosol make that conjugate and uh, grow its uh, size and it fall down. So we need to uh, investigate uh, those phenomena. We develop the uh, ABC integ, uh, INTG integ code. ABC itself is uh, originally uh, developed by uh, Sandia National Lab, I guess. And uh, today, my topic may, is mainly focused on the, this, uh, field model, uh, sorry, this field model of aqua itself. And uh, let's briefly show that uh, sodium fire modeling. As I mentioned that uh, we have taken into account that the two models of the spray combustion and pool combustion. And the left side figure shows a schematic uh, model of uh, uh, spray combustion. In case of the spray combustion, uh, spray combustion we uh, put the, uh, some particles related to the distribution of uh, its fragmentation as uh, lectured in, uh, yesterday. And uh, we use the Lagrangian method to evaluate uh, its behavior. And uh, uh, to uh, couple with uh, the CFD tool, uh, we uh, calculate that uh, uh, chemical uh, reaction and mass transfer and uh, energy release to the uh, CFD tools. And from the viewpoint of the fragmentation of the uh, liquid sodium just after the leaked on the atmospheric, atmosphere condition, we apply the Nukiyama Tanasa distribution uh, based on the experimental uh, result by using not only the sodium but also the water. Unfortunately, that uh, not the thermal property, but the fluid property in sodium is more like uh, a water case, water. So in that sense, water experiment is quite useful and safe from the viewpoint of the experiment. And uh, we segment it uh, into the several groups uh, from the Nukiyama Tanasa distribution, and we apply that uh, num uh, certain number uh, in each uh, bin, and then we randomly, uh, pro randomly put at the inlet. Then we calculate uh, everything by the uh, Lagrangian method. And uh, uh, from the viewpoint of the uh, reaction rate, not like uh, uh, crystallization uh, lectured yesterday, but uh, in general, fire reaction is much faster, of course, than the uh, crystallization. And uh, uh, bottleneck is the mass transfer. So in this sense, uh, we just apply that uh, uh, analogy of the mass and heat transfer to obtain that reaction date. On the other hand, in case of the uh, pool combustion, we assume the uh, infinite uh, flame seat. Usually we say that the flame seat concept. And uh, if we uh, ideally uh, put that uh, flame seat and uh, uh, take into account that uh, uh, mass and energy balance on the uh, flame seat. And uh, uh, for instance, from the viewpoint of the mass transfer, uh, oxygen or uh, uh, water vapor uh, goes through to the flame by diffusion or convection. On the other hand, uh, vapor and sodium go upward uh, due to mainly the diffusion. And from the viewpoint of the uh, energy transfer, here I just mentioned that the infinity frame. So there is no uh, heat source stocks. It's just uh, balanced to, obtain, uh, to the uh, total energy uh, through to the uh, air, bound air condition and uh, pool. If we take into account that those uh, two basic uh, balance of the equation by using the frame temperature and frame height, the equations are closed. So we uh, generally we use a such a kind of the newton raphson method to obtain that uh, uh, temperature of the frame and uh, uh, height and uh, 
each balance of the key. And from the viewpoint of the uh, VR uh, verification of the validation, we need uh, efficient uh, validation if we develop the, those kind of the code. But as you can easily imagine that uh, we have the uh, huge number of the input deck in a numerical uh, computation. And we, that's why that we need a, a kind of the priority. And uh, to investigate such a kind of the priority, usually we uh, apply that uh, part. Part means that the phenomena identification and ranking tables. Uh, this view graph, uh, this table shows uh, our uh, investigation of the part. And uh, in the part, we uh, categorize uh, uh, each uh, physical phenomena, for instance, a spray combustion, pool combustion, heat transfer, mass transfer, and the chemical reaction. And uh, as a figure of merit, so it's quite uh, difficult for, from the, uh, in case of the sodium fire. In general part, we just take into account the only one figure of merit. But in case of the sodium fire, we take into account, the, for instance, the uh, in integrity of the building structure or component and uh, uh, circumference environment uh, of aerosol. So we take into account that the several figures of merit uh, shown here. And uh, uh, we just make the uh, engineering judgment of the high or uh, middle or low. And the uh, upper side here, show the uh, influence of the early stage in the uh, sodium fire. And the uh, bottom side means the uh, uh, later part in the sodium fire. And uh, in general, if we have the, those kind of the sodium fire incident, firstly, spray if the influence of the spray combustion is uh, quite high. But in the later stage, because a uh, pool area becomes uh, spreading and spreading and spreading, and the total energy includes uh, due, to the, uh, uh, due to the increase of the uh, full surface. So in general, at the early part, so uh, spray combustion is more important. But uh, later part, uh, full combustion becomes uh, uh, dominant. And uh, uh, then we make the separation of, uh, for instance, uh, uh, phenomena uh, categories then we check that uh, the, what kind of the uh, experiment has been uh, carried out. Okay, uh, this is a uh, uh, validation matrix of, uh, in case of the sodium fire in Japan. And uh, as I mentioned here, that the phenomena, and uh, uh, in general, in this kind of the validation, we have two kind of the experiment. One is a separate effect test in which uh, some fundamental phenomena was, uh, 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 was observed in the experiment and validated. And the uh, uh, other one is uh, uh, integrated effect test. That means that almost a mock-up experiment to deal with almost all phenomena. But unfortunately, uh, it is not that easy to uh, independently make the uh, separate effect test especially from the viewpoint of the uh, heat transfer, because we cannot uh, separate that mass uh, heat transfer due to the convection and the heat transfer, the radiation in the experiment, especially in a high temperature case. Should we both uh, uh, influence? So in that uh, case, uh, you can see that uh, uh, some experiment, we have to check not only one fundamental thing, but also that the several fundamental thing, things. But anyway, uh, to check that those kind of the matrix, we assume that, uh, no, no, sorry. We uh, confirm that, that the validation is okay or not. And today, I would like to show the brief uh, validation result of the uh, enlarging pool area experiment of RAN uh, F7 and uh, integrated mock-up experiment of RAN D4. And uh, it is also mentioned that uh, the 
almost uh, those uh, experiments were done before uh, 2000. And currently, it is not easy to make the all experiments in one organization. And in that sense, international collaboration also be uh, of importance. Yeah, I just mentioned that uh, experimental scheme, a schematic of uh, RAN F7. And RAN F7 is a comparatively small uh, pool combustion experiment. And uh, as you see uh, from the center, uh, liquid sodium uh, is feeded like a, a column, column shape, not a spray. So mainly uh, we focus in on the, only the pool fire. And uh, of course here we have the pool and uh, we have the pool combustion and uh, due to the uh, total spaces first, uh, and uh, surface area, firstly, it, uh, pool area becomes a growing, growing, <coughs> but if uh, mass balance of the uh, feed it, uh, sodium and the combustion uh, sodium, the pool size is fixed. And this is uh, uh, one picture uh, of the sodium fire just after the test. Uh, because of the uh, small and very calm experiment. So you will see a, a lot of aerosol uh, directly dropping on the top of the pool, like a, a pancake. And uh, this is an uh, experiment, uh, numerical result. And uh, as, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention about that. Here, we uh, have a fresh air feed it dry in the experiment. And uh, you will see that uh, uh, some uh, low temperature region, which uh, coming from the, uh, which due to the uh, fresh air. And uh, you will have the uh, high temperature region uh, go upward uh, due to uh, cause, due to the buoyancy, and uh, if the left side is uh, uh, low height cases and uh, right side is a little bit uh, high, not so high, but only the 1.5 meter, and uh, you will see that uh, uh, both is uh, almost the uh, same uh, big rate, but. If we have the, uh, some distance from the top of the bottom, so the so chemical reaction continue to heat up the sodium itself. And uh, if the te uh, so, uh, temperature of the sodium is higher, the pool combustion also be higher due to the uh, uh, saturated pressure. So that's why that a little bit higher temperature is observed. And this is uh, just a comparison of the experimental data. Uh, experimental data is a solid one, and uh, a symbol one is a computational one. And uh, you will see here uh, the uh, low temperature region coming from the uh, fresh air. And generally speaking, it, uh, the agreement is uh, uh, sufficient. Of course, it's not so good. But from the viewpoint of the, just a comparison, it's uh, uh, not so bad. But you will see here, we will have the uh, discrepancy between the numerical result and the experimental one. And uh, this may, might be coming from the, this cover-up effect. And uh, if the pool, in the modeling, pool surface is very clear. But if we have those kind of the obstacles, just upper side on the uh, pool, maybe that the contact angle, it, uh, contact area itself is reduced. So we guess that's why that in numerical, we will have the uh, increase of the temperature, but in the experiment, uh, stable temperature was observed. To check this effect, uh, we just apply that to those kind of the uh, simple suppression model uh, due to the uh, mass ratio just on that uh, pool side, uh, pool area. And if we apply that those kind of model, so uh, this increase are suppressed and uh, experimental result, uh, we obtain a better agreement 
comparing with uh, experimental data. But uh, this uh, pancake shape is uh, typical in case of the small size and, uh, and uh, very uh, calm condition. And from the viewpoint of the safety analysis, so uh, considering the uh, large uncertainty of such a kind of the pancake shape, we do not apply that, those kind of the model currently. And the another uh, experiment is uh, um, integrated mock-up one, and uh, this, why the mock-up is uh, just uh, dissimulate the Monju incident occurred in uh, 1995. And actually, uh, you will see that just the beginning of the leakage, and uh, there are, are many obstacles here, and uh, uh, leakage uh, is, uh, was taken place there, and uh, uh, firstly dropped and collide with uh, another uh, obstacle and spread it or something like that. And uh, uh, this structure is uh, truly mocked up uh, that in a uh, monji. Takara-san, excuse me, uh, maybe you can explain what is the Monjo accident because some people here, here were born after, uh, so, so just a few words and why it's important. Okay, uh, briefly I mentioned that uh, uh, the day before yesterday that there was uh, one uh, incident in a uh, uh, Japanese prototype uh, first reactor Monjo. It was taking place on the uh, secondary loop and uh, uh, you will see here uh, there was uh, one thermocouples, but unfortunately the length of the thermocouple is uh, quite long, like a uh, water cake. As you can easily imagine that uh, if we take into account the liquid metal, we do not need uh, such a uh, long distance because that uh, uh, thermal conductivity is quite high in a liquid metal. But unfortunately uh, they had, uh, at that moment we had uh, uh, long type, uh, some, uh, some, uh, some couples, and it vibrated during the operation and broken. And uh, uh, from those some couple line, we have the uh, liquid sodium uh, leakage. And uh, honestly, say that uh, this is uh, just a kind of the uh, second loop incident, and uh, uh, plant itself is normally uh, shut down. But unfortunately, uh, this uh, uh, situation is not so familiar with that public. <laughs> uh, that's why that uh, the Monju unfortunately stopped uh, for 10 years from that, more than 10 years from that uh, incident. And uh, to investigate what happened on the uh, incident, uh, they, uh, JAEA makes uh, those kind of the mock-up experiment. Is that okay? Sorry, my slide does not include the uh, computational results and the experimental results. <laughs> but okay, say it's not a, <laughs> it's not a propaganda, but uh, we obtain that uh, uh, good agreement between experiment and uh, analysis. But uh, in the experiment, at the early stage, temperature is a little bit higher rather than uh, comparing with that computational result. This is coming from that, those kind of the collide and uh, fast spreading in the experiment. That was not modeled in uh, uh, computation. But after uh, this, those uh, leakage, for instance, in this, uh, in this incident, as you see that uh, the leakage rate itself is uh, not so uh, large. I mean, uh, you may see that uh, only that 50 grams per second but it continues more than uh, two hours, uh, two or three hours, and uh, uh, total leakage is uh, quite uh, huge, and uh, we obtain that uh, huge pool area. And uh, when we obtain that, uh, those kind of the huge uh, pool area, a computational uh, result agree with that of the experiment. Sorry, I <laughs> just, I don't know the reason. 
I don't know the meaning, but I just uh, forgot to put the result. And for instance, uh, recently, uh, as a model improvement, uh, we uh, just uh, consider, reconsider the uh, radiation in heat transfer model. And uh, in case of the sodium fire, we have the much air zone. And uh, in general, it becomes uh, invisible. And uh, no direct radiation from the combustion area to the wall takes place. On the other hand, the radiation heat firstly uh, transfer to the air zone, and then it uh, transfer to the wall. And in that situation, we usually use that uh, gas flux model. And uh, uh, in case of the uh, High dense aerosol situation, gas flux model is very good. At that moment, we just put the energy sources, all energy sources into the gas region. And uh, that energy will be transferred uh, to the <coughs> aerosol region by radiation fluxes. But in case of the lower density of the aerosol, if we put the all energy in the atmosphere, that uh, gas temperature is overestimated. And uh, now we just uh, reconsider to uh, segment it uh, into the uh, direct radiation, heat flux, and uh, uh, gas region. Okay, let us move to the next topics of uh, sodium water reaction. And uh, you already know about that sodium uh, water reaction, and uh, I will skip to that uh, top of the uh, slide. But uh, one of the important thing is that uh, if we have, our, okay, let me uh, start from here. We have the sodium leak and the sodium uh, water reaction. It attacks the uh, neighbor uh, heat transfer tube. And uh, it has a possibility to uh, propagate uh, to another tube. In practice, in a uh, PFR in, uh, in, uh, in the United Kingdom, they also have the, such a kind of the sodium water reaction. At that uh, reaction incident, uh, more than 50 tubes were done. And uh, uh, from the viewpoint of uh, uh, numerical investigation, of course, as uh, uh, in uh, uh, yesterday's lecture, maybe that uh, if we detect in the early stage, there would not be a problem. But still, we need to investigate that uh, what happened inside of the heat transfer tube. So that's a, a motivation to uh, make the development of the, those kind of the sodium water reaction. And uh, uh, this is a sodium water reaction related analytical tools. And today I would like to mention about uh, the seraphim code. Uh, in this code, we can <coughs> calculate that the critical flow itself because uh, in this case, the heat transfer tubes is a steam generator site. So that's why it's not a low pressure site situation. It's more than that uh, 100 uh, times higher than the atmospheric condition. It's almost the same with uh, or uh, a little bit higher comparing with the light water system. And in that case, we have uh, some uh, supersonic issue when it uh, breaks up. So in that sense, a critical flow also be uh, one point of the uh, key element uh, to investigate that sodium water reaction. And of course, chemical reaction is uh, uh, very important. And the other thing is that, for instance, you can uh, easily imagine that if you have the same kind of the pool and you have the strong jet here, maybe uh, some water will uh, entrain like a small droplet. And this also be a kind of the mass transfer. And from the, view, uh, from the uh, wastage viewpoint, those small particles enhance the wastage rate itself. It's something like the, uh, do you know the sand blaster? So it's an air pressure, air pressure with the sand uh, give you efficient damage on the surface. So the, uh, in case of even in uh, uh, liquid particles, those uh, issues happen. So if we have that, uh, some kind of the sodium entrainment, 
during that uh, sodium uh, water reaction, wastage rate increase. And this is uh, uh, how we make that uh, sodium water reaction chemical modeling. Uh, we take into account the two kinds of the modeling. One is uh, uh, surface reaction. That means that uh, uh, water vapor directly connect to the liquid sodium surface and on the surface chemical reaction take place because uh, this also is uh, almost the same with the sodium fire chemical reaction. Chemical reaction rate itself is quite high. On the other hand, when that the temperature increase uh, and uh, uh, excess the uh, boiling point of the uh, liquid sodium, some liquid sodium evaporize and uh, uh, gas phase reaction will be take place. And uh, from the viewpoint of the surface reaction, we take into account that uh, similar uh, modeling with the sodium fire, that means that uh, mass transfer is dominant. And uh, uh, from the viewpoint of the gas phase reaction, we make the uh, molecular orbit method investigation to evaluate the uh, uh, energy potential during the uh, chemical reaction. And the uh, uh, left bottom figure shows the uh, energy potential of, uh, for instance, start is uh, sodium, one uh, sodium uh, atom, atomic and uh, one uh, molecular of the uh, hydro uh, uh, water. And uh, if it makes a complex situation, the energy uh, becomes a little bit uh, decreased. But, uh, for instance, if uh, we make that sodium hydroxide, we need uh, this level of the energy potential. On the other hand, later part, is a direct generation of sodium oxide. And you can see that the energy potential is sodium oxide is higher than that of the uh, generation of sodium uh, hydroxide. That's why uh, you also uh, had in the last uh, lecture, first dominant uh, reaction is not, uh, is not generated to sodium uh, oxide, but uh, generate uh, sodium hydroxide. And this is uh, just a uh, uh, simple uh, explanation of the numerical models and uh, uh, experimental uh, condition for the validation. As a numerical model for summer hydraulics, we apply that March phase uh, model by uh, March fluid. Here, March fluid means that the liquid sodium and the water or vapor side and the March component gas. And also, as I mentioned, that uh, some kind of the uh, sodium entrainment was, uh, co is considered as a uh, concentration of the droplet. And the pressure, we apply that one pressure model and uh, we use a uh, highly simplified Mark and Cell method uh, taking uh, compare, uh, considering with the uh, compressibility. And uh, uh, experimental for validation, currently we do not make that good uh, part analysis, but uh, we just start to uh, make the validation. For instance, that uh, for the uh, critical flow, that is a uh, supersonic flow uh, under, expand, uh, under expanded jet and uh, uh, sodium uh, water reaction with a, a single target tube. This is a, a typical critical flow scheme uh, photograph. And we will, uh, when that uh, uh, critical flow takes place, so we will make that Maha disk here, and uh, this region is a supersonic region. And uh, that is an experimental one, and the uh, bottom side is an analytical result. And uh, you will see uh, a quite good agreement is obtained uh, in a uh, uh, seraphine code. That means that uh, those kind of the critical flow can be analyzed in this code. And the other one is a sodium water uh, reaction with a single target tube. Here is a, a discharged tube and uh, maybe uh, seven millimeter upper 
we have the uh, target tube here. And the uh, uh, right side is uh, uh, just uh, wastage region ex as an experimental result. And uh, left is the uh, computational result. You will see here the uh, Maha disks and uh, ma maximum temperature reaches around uh, 1200 Celsius degree. And uh, uh, since this is the uh, interface of the uh, water vapor and uh, liquid sodium, and this is a very uh, high chemical reactivity region, including the uh, sodium uh, liquid entrainment. And uh, here you will see the uh, uh, liquid droplet, entrainment droplet velocity. And uh, here is uh, just a high uh, velocity region. It almost corresponds to, uh, correspond to the region of the highly wastage area in the experiment. And let me compare with the uh, temperature. Uh, between uh, experiment and uh, computational result. And uh, unfortunately, as I mentioned, that uh, this is a very complex mixed uh, phases. And uh, we do not exactly know what the thermal couples measure the which temperature. Because in sometimes it's a gas temperature, and sometimes it's a liquid temperature. If, we, if some uh, liquid remains here, we do not know what kind of the temperature. So just a uh, comparison, we apply that uh, uh, mass weighted average of gas and liquid phase uh, to compare with the experimental one. And uh, you will see there are uh, many uh, thermal couples and uh, almost all region, we obtain uh, a good agreement between uh, experiment and uh, computational result. In that sense, we can say that, uh, okay, we make the good validation in case of the one target two. And uh, we also make another validation with the multiple target. Because if we use that helical type of steam generator, we have many target. And uh, uh, this is a, a recent uh, model improvement. And uh, uh, firstly, we just make that uh, structure mesh. But uh, in many cases, we will have the uh, very uh, complicated geometry. So we just uh, extra, uh, extend it to the, from the uh, structure mesh to the unstructured mesh. And this is a uh, typical layout. It's almost the same with a steam generator in Monji. But it's just helical and happy. And from the viewpoint of the experiment, it is quite difficult to use that uh, real helical shape. So that's why that uh, in experiment, uh, just separate uh, straight tube are used, were used. And here is uh, some experiment, uh, uh, sorry, uh, computational result of the uh, volume fraction of the fluid and uh, uh, temperatures. And for instance, uh, in that uh, case, so this, uh, sorry, sorry, this pitch arrangement is uh, quite important from the viewpoint of the propagation of the secondary or thirdary failure. So in that uh, sense, you will see that the uh, high temperature region is uh, uh, quite uh, important uh, from the viewpoint of the uh, secondary failure. And uh, we also as, uh, now make the comparison between uh, uh, some thermal couples. Uh, of uh, experimental result and the computational one. That is a uh, sodium water reaction. Maybe I will have uh, last just uh, 30 minutes or something like that. And uh, later part, let us uh, explain that innovative numerical approach, Arcadia. And uh, why is Arcadia? Arcadia means advanced reactor knowledge and AI aided design integration approach and through the whole plant life. And uh, the key point is uh, listed here. The knowledge base that sto uh, stores inside from the past nuclear reactor development project and R&D. And uh, to take into account the innovative one, 
one of the key issue is uh, we have the existing knowledge and uh, we want to use those knowledge efficiently. For this purpose, uh, state of the art of the computational method linked with uh, knowledge base and AI. That means sometimes we say that uh, uh, digital polyprint. Maybe you have uh, often heard that the digital twin. Digital twin is that the physical one and the virtual one. And the additional one, digital triplet, means that knowledge. So the final uh, objective to uh, develop the, this system is uh, to make the automatic optimization of the plant design, including the safety measure uh, from various perspectives, such as the safety and the economics. But anyway, uh, those kind, even if we use uh, those kind of system, we still need uh, some kind of the experiment. And this is a motivation, especially, especially from the viewpoint of the uh, sodium fast reactor uh, developed uh, in uh, JEA, uh, to support a variation of the various innovative reactor concepts uh, represented by uh, SFRs. And uh, uh, to optimize plant life cycle and advanced reactor automatically by using the state of the art simulation technology and knowledge. And to, that's also very important to keep and transfer technology basis, including the knowledge to the next generation. And the uh, last one is uh, almost the same, but to developing the, the, those systems, we need understand that what uh, happened on the uh, scenario and uh, why we need that, those kind of the ex uh, equipment. So this is a kind of the, uh, developing that the human resources, especially in a young generation. And uh, let me briefly uh, mention using that uh, kind of the example of the optimization program. Okay, let's think, uh, okay, we make that uh, this kind of the sodium fast reactor and uh, uh, to postulate it event during the severe accident. And in general, in case of the severe accident, uh, we have the, some sodium leakage uh, to the uh, containment vessel. And uh, fortunately, because of the uh, low pressure systems, uh, even in case of the direct leak of the liquid sodium itself, does not uh, influence uh, dramatically on the pressure uh, increase in uh, uh, containment vessel. On the other hand, if that containment vessel is uh, occupied in uh, air, so sodium fire happened and uh, um, uh, surely that the pressure increased. And uh, uh, in general, firstly, we make that okay, we make that those kind of the, uh, containment building, then after assess that, uh, for instance, the sodium fire, and okay, it's not uh, so good to, from the viewpoint of the temperature and the pressure. Okay, we will put uh, some additional equipment for uh, as a countermeasure of the CD accident. But from the viewpoint of the efficient development of the design, maybe uh, even in case of the design phases, we take into account the both uh, effect automatically. And uh, for instance, uh, if we put the large size of the content, so it may be okay, but it's a little bit costly. So uh, the uh, problem is that, uh, okay, let me uh, say that uh, here, uh, sodium leakage and combustion happen, and the temperature or pressure increase, and finally, uh, from the viewpoint of the CV action and condition, we take into account that uh, it has a possibility to uh, fail of uh, fail to, uh, to it has a possibility uh, of uh, failure of the containment vessel. And in that uh, case, we have the uh, many optimization of the containment vessel. Okay, let me say that uh, easily that uh, we apply that large one, or we make the some kind of compartment uh, inside of the containment or we just uh, put that not the uh, air, but uh, nitrogen to suppress the sodium fire. And uh, this also uh, makes uh, some many uh, design parameters. And uh, uh, our final goal is uh, firstly, we just make that the computation and optimization automatically, which is the best solution. That is a kind of the innovative. 
And uh, let me say that uh, some kind of the optical uh, optimization flow. First, uh, we uh, define that objective function. Usually, this objective function uh, consists of the safety issues and the economical issues. And uh, okay, let me say that uh, this is uh, uh, safety issues. If we apply that uh, additional uh, countermeasure or uh, robust systems, uh, safety uh, becomes, uh, risk becomes lower. On the other hand, cost uh, increasing rapidly. And maybe take into account that both will have the best solution. To obtain that firstly, define the objective function. And the second step is to collect the required information, for, for instance, specification of the cost of the data, of the containment data for large size or concrete or uh, steel structure or something like that. And also the, uh, some kind of the uh, countermeasure equipment. And uh, uh, make the uh, selection of the analytical condition. And uh, we use, make the uh, computation and uh, evaluate the uh, cost and uh, safety and uh, confirm that the what is the uh, uh, best solution or not. If not, uh, go, to, go back to the step two and uh, uh, change that, uh, uh, for instance, the parameter or uh, countermeasure. And uh, this uh, bibliograph show, shows that the procedure of the system structure, uh, this one is almost the same. And uh, this is the main component of the Arcadia system. And the Arcadia system consists of the three major systems of the uh, VLS uh, virtual front drive system. That is uh, almost at the numerical simulation part. And uh, uh, the other one is uh, enhanced and AI edit optimization system. We need uh, those kind of the judgment and uh, change of the condition. And our final goal, uh, those kind of the confirmation and uh, uh, changing the condition is automatically uh, obtained from this, uh, this system. And uh, it is quite difficult, but uh, we uh, just trying to connect the both EAS and VAS with the uh, uh, knowledge management system, KMS. And uh, for instance, if we have this, those kind of the database, so uh, if we uh, need uh, some information, we put, we ask to the KMS system and obtain from the KMS system. And, uh, and of course, the result of the evaluator are stocked on the KMS system. And uh, uh, our final goal is to make a one system to evaluate both the design side and the safety side. But currently, we are just start to develop the uh, separately, uh, as shown here, that the Arcadia design and the Arcadia safety. And uh, in case of the uh, Arcadia design, main purpose is to optimize uh, for design plant structure and maintenance program. And uh, uh, Arcadia safety, uh, provides a design safety requirement, uh, the safety and the economics from the uh, CD accident uh, simulation. And uh, today, uh, as I mentioned that the safety issues, I am um, a little bit focus on the Arcadia safety. And uh, uh, as I mentioned that uh, VLS part is a numerical simulation part. And uh, we are now developing the new code of Spectra. And this Spectra code is uh, uh, integrated to one of uh, in vessel and uh, ex vessel phenomena during the CD accident in the sodium, fire, uh, sodium uh, first reactor. And uh, uh, this Spectra name comes from the CD accident phenomenological computational tool uh, for transient assessment. And why we need uh, such a kind of the new uh, code? Of course, uh, for instance, uh, Conte LMR is developed, was developed in uh, 1970 or 1980, and uh, many code uh, is uh, much older than your father and mother. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one of the key issue, especially in the sodium first reactor, is a uh, liquid tightness. So, 
when we uh, for a disruptive, a disruptive accident happen, if we have uh, some compaction of melting fuel, it may have the possibility of the recriticality. So that's why that we need uh, more detailed investigation due, uh, for the recriticality. That's why we do not have the uh, one integrated code. We just apply the several kinds of the code. Okay, let me say that the initial phase or core disruptive uh, cases, we use a code A, for instance, a SAS for A, something like that. And then the result is transfer to the another code of the transition phase of the some make uh, some impaction or what kind of the large scale of the melting phenomena was investigated in a course, uh, case B. And then uh, relocation and uh, uh, rearrangement of the uh, melted uh, fuel are considered with another code. And then as the input of the, those uh, data, we estimate that the expected uh, phenomena, like uh, using the content LMR or something like that. And uh, especially from the viewpoint of the risk assessment, for instance, the right order reactor, we have that Melkor code or MARP code, which are integrated uh, and uh, uh, evaluate uh, from the beginning of the accident and the final state. And that is quite uh, useful from the viewpoint of the risk assessment. Uh, so that is a uh, motivation. That's why that we make a new code system uh, to evaluate uh, integrated uh, I mean that integrated means that both in the uh, investor expressor phenomena uh, consistently by our single code. And uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, selected phenomena uh, during the CD accident in the sodium uh, fast reactor. And uh, uh, red line shows that the investor uh, phenomena of the, for instance, the investor here is at the core and here is at the steam generator and uh, investor summer hydraulics and transport of the fission products and the neutronics and the core disruption. And uh, in the last case, we all have a, a possibility to make the a molten core relocation. Especially uh, in some cases, it uh, go, out, uh, from, uh, go out through the uh, reactor core. And uh, uh, if uh, we have uh, some leakage of uh, sodium during the CD accident, we have to take into account the sodium fire and uh, expressed thermal hydraulics and uh, atmospheric chemical reaction. That means that the sodium fire and transportation of the fission product is uh, in the final goal is uh, uh, of to evaluate that the total amount of the fission product go outside from the uh, vessel, containment vessel. And uh, this is a uh, current status of the development of the spectral code. In spectral code, we uh, roughly uh, se separate it into the investor module and the uh, expressor uh, module. And uh, this is uh, uh, rightly coupled. And uh, investor uh, modules. Sometimes we need that uh, multi-dimensional, uh, multi-fluid uh, investigation. But uh, sometimes we can apply that uh, uh, some uh, simple model. And uh, from the viewpoint of the uh, behavior of the relocation, we apply the, uh, another particle, uh, particle tracking model. And this was uh, strongly coupled. And uh, this is a brief exploration of the analytical models in the uh, investor uh, modules. And uh, investor modules, uh, we take care of the behavior of the coolant. So in that sense, we apply that full implicit, single pressure, uh, multi component, multi fluid models, like uh, a sodium water reaction cases. And uh, from the viewpoint of the molten uh, core relocation, we apply the dissipated particle dynamics method. This is a major, major use in a chemical field. 
And uh, this uh, ad uh, advantage of this DPD method is uh, uh, low computational load and uh, uh, useful uh, for the simulating motor core, uh, both in a liquid and solid state. And, uh, but uh, this advantage is that uh, we need uh, some empirical parameter uh, for particle and particle interaction. Let me say simply that DPD, uh, DPD model is a very simple Lagrangian, Lagrangian uh, tracking model. But uh, particle, uh, particle interaction, we take into account uh, some kind of the potential, which is something similar with the uh, molecular dynamics method. But if we take into account that uh, empirical parameter and we make the tuning, that uh, parameter, uh, that potential can be used both in a solid and a liquid. That is that one advantage. And uh, uh, this is uh, uh, coupled with that CFD model. On the other hand, in case of the analytical models in uh, XBSL uh, modules, uh, we apply the uh, behavior of the multi component gas and aerosol uh, with a lapped mass model. And uh, uh, for instance, in a severe accident case, uh, it's the uh, same situation with the light water reactor. If a large amount of the coolant is released to the comp compartment, the total gas area volume changes due to the uh, coolant. So uh, in a severe accident cause, we uh, have to take into account that those kind of the volume change of the atmosphere uh, by accumulation of the uh, leaked sodium. And from the viewpoint of the fast computation, we need to the uh, fully implicit method. And as I mentioned that uh, in uh, this Arcadia system, we already apply that uh, uh, latest version of the Sphinx and uh, Aqua SF uh, uh, sodium fire model. And uh, currently, we try to implement that the sodium concrete interaction and the debris concrete interaction. And uh, uh, maybe on this lecture, you do not uh, no detail about the sodium concrete interaction. And as I mentioned that the so concrete also has uh, including the water. And uh, if that the sodium directly leak to the concrete and when that the concrete heat it up, that water comes from the concrete and uh, it makes that the sodium concrete reaction. Then not only is that the water, uh, sodium water uh, reaction in the concrete, but if the temperature is enough high, I mean that uh, maybe that's uh, 500 or 600 Celsius degree, the component of the concrete itself reacts with the uh, sodium. And that is uh, another key issue to take into account the uh, integrity of the uh, complement vessel. And actually, in some cases, that, uh, like uh, uh, molten debris uh, reaction in a light water reactor, if sodium leaks, uh, concrete is damaged, 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 something like that. Of course, uh, same with that uh, light water reactor, uh, we have to take into account that the debris concrete interaction itself. Okay, uh, from now, uh, let me show uh, no problem. I have uh, more than 10 minutes. Uh, some uh, preliminary analysis using the Arcadia system of spectral code uh, of uh, loss of reactor level uh, event. That is also one of the important uh, severe uh, accident issues in case of the especially sodium water, uh, sodium uh, cooled reactor. And uh, maybe for instance, asteroid, uh, you know that from the yesterday's lecture, they have the double uh, reactor uh, uh, reactor vessel and uh, other uh, vessels to eliminate the, uh, this phenomenon of uh, loss of the reactor level. Okay, let me uh, briefly explain. If here is a uh, uh, primary loop, if we have something leakage happen, uh, uh, since it is quite difficult to feed uh, the uh, sodium itself in case of the severe accident, 
So if we do not have the any uh, double uh, core system, uh, leakage takes place at the uh, level lowering during the accident. And in the worst case, if uh, we do not have the any current in the core region, a core disruptive uh, accident will happen, take place. And uh, this is just a, a preliminary analysis, and it's not a, a real situation of the sodium fast reactor. To explain the briefly about that the role event, we do not take into account that any uh, double system. <coughs> and uh, if the sodium leak takes place here, uh, compartment uh, of uh, corresponding, uh, corresponding compartment takes place at uh, sodium fire action. And in some cases, uh, it uh, released uh, the uh, pressure of the containment vessel and some aerosol goes through the containment vessel. And in worst case, uh, we have the, some leakage of the uh, sodium fire, uh, not only the sodium fire, but also the some fission product will released into the environment through that containment vessel. And uh, uh, through the, this compartment, only uh, aerosol uh, comes from the sodium fire, uh, might release to the environment. And that's why that we need not only that in vessel uh, region, but the ex vessel region also very important uh, to assess the CD action. And uh, uh, before uh, making the uh, CD accident analysis, we need a rated condition, is the initial condition. And uh, okay, let me say that uh, we obtain that initial condition and uh, here is the core region and the temperature is uh, uh, the here maximum. I just say that 900 Celsius degree. Uh, this is due to the next movie for the CD accident condition. <laughs> little bit, uh, it seems a little bit cold in a core system, but the core outlet uh, temperature is a five, uh, 520 or 530 uh, or something like that. It's a usual condition. And uh, from, this, uh, from this condition, uh, we uh, put the, some leakage from here. And uh, before start the uh, movie, uh, here is the investor region and this blue uh, Rectangular means that the uh, expressor compartment where uh, sodium leakage happens, take place. And uh, here is that, uh, just the bottom of the containment. And uh, in this, uh, just a plenary, in the worst case, uh, we will obtain that uh, some melting uh, of fuel here. And finally, it uh, go out from, from the reactor core. Okay, let me check the movie. So, firstly, uh, leakage start, and you will see that the leveling, uh, in, uh, decrease of the leveling, and in some cases, you will see a high temperature of the here, and uh, this uh, large particle uh, <laughs> displays at some melted fuels. And uh, uh, this green bar, uh, this black bar shows that uh, some of them are uh, released into the, uh, on the uh, bottom side of the core, bottom side of the uh, containment and the containment temperature is uh, also become high uh, due to the uh, melted uh, fuels. And uh, in some cases, uh, you can see that the uh, temperature increased due to the uh, sodium fire. And of course, this is a preliminary analysis, but uh, and, uh, unfortunately, we do not take into account any neutronics uh, coupling, not, not yet. But uh, in general, as you see that uh, we, can, we can make the investigation through the event. So that is a uh, conclusion that the spectral code can evaluate the overall uh, complex summer hydraulics phenomenon. And uh, this code is also, uh, we have the target to, to use in a, a TRA, a prolific risk assessment. And uh, uh, let me say that uh, this is the current status of the uh, design development and the licensing. And uh, firstly, we make the safety design and then uh, we make the safety assessment if we have some troubles, it goes back to the uh, safety de uh, design 
<laughs> and uh, also, uh, we have the some, okay, let me say that uh, some kind of the licensing, we need uh, some kind of the safety level, and if we do not achieve that safety level, we have to change the uh, safety assessment, including the safety design. And uh, we currently, we just say that step by step. And uh, okay, let me say that the uh, current status is, uh, for example, here is a design criteria. And uh, uh, just when we make the uh, progressive risk assessment, we evaluate that initiating event and uh, uh, do uh, uh, level one. Level one means that uh, we obtain that uh, uh, CDF, core damage frequency. And then uh, make, we make that level two PRA to obtain uh, uh, containment failure frequency or uh, large uh, DD uh, frequency. And also we uh, investigate the uh, source time. Source time means that the total amount of the fission product and its uh, characteristics itself. And then uh, here do not have the level three, but okay, let me say in the level three, we make that uh, uh, environmental assessment. And uh, uh, now we are uh, this situation and uh, is a development and the standardization in the progress. And uh, uh, let me say almost the same, but uh, if we apply that spectral code, uh, we can make the seamless analysis of the, uh, from the uh, level one PRA to make the, of course it's uh, still a little, little bit costly, but uh, uh, kind of the dynamic level two PRA. And uh, we directly obtain uh, CS, uh, all uh, results uh, by using the spectral code and uh, go uh, put uh, the output uh, to the level three PRA. And uh, it's uh, our final, uh, it's uh, not, mean, I, I do not say I mean in near future, 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 I have no idea, but uh, it's my, our uh, ideal scheme in the future. So that means that uh, including even in uh, level three, we apply that uh, one system to evaluate everything. And uh, for instance, uh, now, uh, why is that the PR, uh, those kind of the numerical method related to the uh, PRA? And uh, from the viewpoint of the static PRA, we use uh, uh, estimates that the success criteria or uh, some source time. Uh, like upper side, this is a very, very simple uh, heading of the event. Okay, let me say that the, uh, in level one, we apply that initiating event and the primary cooling systems failure and the recovery action. If uh, we failure uh, both of them, it goes to the uh, core damage and uh, we make the another uh, investigation of the level two. And uh, okay, let me, in case of the level two, if, of course we need uh, some kind of the cooling and the uh, integrity of the containment vessel and uh, we judge the uh, end state. And in general, uh, if it is okay, it's okay. And uh, if that failure, uh, we just write that failure and categorize the each situation. And uh, from the viewpoint of the uh, static PRA, we uh, estimate that the typical event and make the computation. And uh, we uh, confirm that uh, what is the uh, success criteria not to uh, make our core disruptive action. Okay, simply say that, okay, uh, for instance, the right water reactor, uh, if we have the uh, three ECCM system, if we uh, operate the two of three, it's okay, that is a kind of the criteria. But uh, we have to confirm that uh, why two of three is okay. That's why that we apply that those kind of the numerical analysis. Okay, to, if we uh, operate the two of ECCS, uh, no problem to that the core temperature is uh, lower than something like that. And uh, if we make the uh, dynamic PRA, dynamic PRA is a wide range scenario with uh, on-demand branch probability. For instance, in case of the uh, typical dynamic event tree method, we just uh, deterministically uh, assign that the timing itself. 
But currently, we are prized at the kind of the continuous Markov chain, uh, Monte Carlo uh, method, to directly uh, apply that uh, event occurrence probability is assessed in a code. So, uh, in some cases, uh, one happened, some uh, first event happened, in, uh, and the second uh, event happened, third event happened, but this third event also has uh, uncertainty of the time duration. Of course, if we apply that to those kind of things, maybe we need a much more sample, <laughs> samples. But still, our final goal is to eliminate such a kind of the deterministic approach in the DET. We just make that, uh, okay, let me say that, and uh, also it is uh, very important that uh, those kind of the second or third or event is strongly, generally strongly depend on the current status of the pressure or temperature or something like that. And it is not so easy to make the deterministic time. And uh, our final goal is that uh, uh, to evaluate everything on uh, one uh, Arcadia system Okay, in that case, okay, no problem, but if we have uh, that another action, uh, or here is a, some kind of the recovery action, if we uh, fail uh, on a recovery action, uh, it's a core damage or something like that. And uh, uh, in case of the recovery action, we, uh, we also have the some uncertainty. If we make the uh, recovery option within some certain time, it's okay. But uh, if uh, recovery action delay, in some cases, it uh, makes work. But anyway, uh, this is uh, our final, final, final goal. <laughs> Not easy to uh, discuss the detail today. But anyway, uh, those kind of the integrated system is quite important from the viewpoint of the safety assessment. OK, uh, let's go on the summary of today's topics. And from the viewpoint of the safety analysis of the sodium fast reactor, uh, not only the uh, thermal hydraulics, but also the multidisciplinary uh, phenomena like uh, sodium chemical reactivity is a key issue for plant safety. And uh, from the V and V viewpoint, uh, international collaboration will play an uh, important role from the viewpoint of the making the good experimental condition. And uh, maybe yesterday, Krivenchevsan told that uh, they also, uh, IAEA also manage the list of the test facility. And uh, maybe I hope that uh, in those sense, uh, IAEA also plays a good uh, role to manage those kind of the uh, validation matrix from the viewpoint of the experiment. And uh, uh, next one is the innovative numerical approach uh, developed in the JEA, Arcadia system. Uh, Arcadia, the final goal is uh, to obtain the state of the other computational method linked with a knowledge based, so called that uh, digital triple and uh, artificial intelligence. And uh, it is not uh, finished, but uh, I, we hope that uh, this system will realize automatic optimization of the product design based on safety evaluation, including the risk assessment TRA, and thus, it realized that improvement of the, especially the development of the efficiency in uh, innovative reactor. So thank you very much uh, for your uh, kind of attention. Thank you very much, Takata-sensei. Now we have time, no time for the questions, comments. Ali, you definitely have a question. <laughs> Uh, Professor Takata, thank you. I surprised uh, with this uh, special roadmap and the unique, <laughs> it's very unique, uh, your presentation. Okay. Uh, I don't hear about before. Uh, I have a question about the uh, so, uh, SFR. What's the uh, criteria, core damage criteria in SFRs? This is similar to the uh, pressurized water reactor. Core, yeah. core damage criteria. Yeah. Core damage cri cri uh, criteria, I, I mean that uh, qualitatively same, but quantitatively different. <laughs> For instance, in a light water reactor, a typical light water reactor, 
the uh, definition of the core damage is uh, 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 maximum uh, temperature is higher than the 1200 uh, Celsius degree or something like that. But uh, typically, that uh, criteria, uh, qualitative criteria is almost the same. Thank you so much. Any other questions? Then I ask Takara-san, uh, uh, I, I was following your Arcadia approach, trying to understand what's inside, but then I lost in some moment. I understand there is a code Arcadia design, Arcadia safety, then somehow spectra, extended spectra. Could you, is it for the one plant or is it in general for any plant? life cycle, you say? Yeah, uh, currently, uh, it is just a JEA that uh, currently we are focusing on the sodium pass reactor. But if we apply that uh, summer property of the red bismuth, it uh, makes a uh, different, uh, it can be applied a uh, different uh, reactor. And uh, in that uh, sense, here I just mentioned the motivation is uh, uh, sorry, uh, various innovative reactor concept represented by SFR. That means that the uh, final uh, goal, uh, various innovative reactor, can be used to this system. So it means all SFRs, LFRs, loop type, pool type, small like SMRs, or yeah, we hope so, but uh, okay, let me say that uh, from the viewpoint of the small or large, maybe it has uh, not so big problem. And uh, from, but uh, if we take into account the modern salt, maybe we need uh, some challenges to develop the code itself. And uh, if the nuclear, uh, core physics is similar to the uh, various reactor, it is easy to use. But uh, if we take into account the specific core physics, we need uh, uh, much more uh, modification. Also like, let's say for water reactors, is boiling important, pressurize it, but for the LFR, boiling is not the case for MSRs also boiling, but they have very m a lot of chemical things to be, to yeah. be followed. So. Yeah. But you want to this, to make this Arcadia for all or only, that's a question, or only liquid metal, for example, could? No, currently uh, our final goal is not only the liquid metal, but also that uh, at least the light water or supercritical ah, water okay. reactor. Ah, okay, so all innovative. Yeah, because that this code system, Arcadia in Bessel system is based on the uh, Seraphim code. And in the Seraphim code, we already have the uh, water uh, property including the uh, supercritical region. And, uh, but then you want to have this database for the all possible reactor types or, or plant, particular plants, or I just didn't understand. Does it include like all plants? Japan or gold plants or many plants, I don't know. Yeah, actually that it is uh, not a so good question, but it is not easy to answer. Uh, since that the JEA corresponding that uh, not only the sodium fast reactor, but also that uh, any uh, reactor development in Japan. Mm -hmm. So our final goal, still I say that uh, we put the, uh, okay, let me see here. One of the, no, uh, that one. One of the important thing is how to manage the, the those uh, knowledge management system. And currently, we focusing on only the sodium fast reactor. And uh, if we have uh, another uh, database, and uh, this is also the under, under uh, development of the uh, using the uh, AI system, because many of knowledge is not uh, uh, digit, uh, digital uh, and uh, criteria, but also that um, some document and uh, uh, some uh, uh, decision making, and of course those kind of the language based AI is uh, already uh, developed in many uh, fields. 
But still, we need uh, many, many uh, tuning to get the uh, better data from okay. the data. I understand. Actually, we have similar question from the chat, online chat. Thank you for the presentation and asking, could Arcadia be used also for the LWR and SMR analysis? So I think you have answered. Yeah, it's possible, but currently we just focus on the okay. Not yeah. now. Not now. Okay. Uh, Ivan has a question. Thank you, Professor Takata. Uh, regarding the, the coupling between CFD and, and the, for understand the Arcadia design and safety, uh, the safety is more in the side of, of design and the safety is just uh, for thermohydraulics or is it coupled CFD and thermo system thermohydraulics? And how can you uh, extrapolate the CFD results for being uh, reliable in, in the licensing part, for example? Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, from the viewpoint of the licensing part, okay. Uh, especially, let me talk with, no. Okay, one of the motivation, especially in uh, Arcadia design, for instance, each specific phenomena of the thermal hydraulics or uh, core physics, the existing code is already used for the licensing itself. The problem is that if we design that some new concept, okay, firstly, we make that uh, core system, then uh, from the output of the core system, we make the summer hydraulics of the system itself. And if we have the, some troubles in the system, we deorder to the uh, core management system, okay, that to please change that this parameter reduce to something like that. And this is uh, just an iterative work. And uh, that uh, means that we need uh, much more uh, time to obtain the best solution. And one of the motivative motivation of the uh, Arcadia design is uh, uh, we apply that uh, all coupling of the all systems and to obtain uh, uh, optical best design with uh, uh, less uh, iterative situation and uh, if we make it automatically, okay, one of the most, thing, most uh, simple uh, thing is that, okay, uh, let me put the button and maybe uh, tomorrow or uh, three days after, we will obtain the one good answer automatically. That, that is like a first uh, main, uh, one of the motivation of the Arcadia uh, design. In that sense, my answer is that uh, each code is already used in the licensing. And of course, we need uh, uh, those kind of the validation if we necessary. Okay, so uh, for that 3D, very detailed part in CFD is more for for the core, because in in reality, all the all the other parts for the pumps and the piping, they are all uh, simulated in in one G thermal hydraulics. Yeah, but they're part of the design as well. So. Uh, you know that there's a iterative part between being very detailed in the core and more simplified in the rest. Yeah. But to optimize this, this. Yeah. It also be a kind of the uh, optimization uh, object. Of course, if we have the huge computational resources, uh, we can make that all three D simulation in a plant itself. But it's not efficient. So that's why that uh, currently we apply that both of the lamp to mass, uh, summer lamp, lamp to mass dynamics and the uh, detail of the summer hydraulics. And uh, uh, our final goal is those kind of the optimization also be suggested by AI. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, from the viewpoint of the uh, coupling between that uh, design and the safety, and uh, let me say, okay, if that uh, design side, including the uh, all physical phenomena during the CD accident, we only uh, need to develop that uh, design itself. But from the viewpoint of the CD accident, as I shown on the missing in this, and in general, we do not need uh, much more precise of the missing, not like a design. 
And in that uh, case, uh, now we are separately uh, developed to the considering that uh, efficiency both of the design and uh, safety. And uh, our, final, uh, in our final goal, if we be possible, we can make that merge to the one uh, thermal hydraulic system. That is uh, our uh, wish, but it's not so easy. Thank you. I just want to address one comment you said about the IE databases and experimental uh, also databases for the benchmark. We also now have the initiative on core initiative which is related to the open source codes for simulations of nuclear reactors. So if you want to make this open source, welcome. We will include it in this database. So okay. And open source has a lot of, you know, uh, possibilities if you want to promote, if you want to be code developed not only in JIE and Tokyo University, but also in the world supported, that is a, would be the right way. Please consider this. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you again, <laughs> Professor Takata. Now we have a coffee break and